Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you do not know me, my name is Mandy and I want to welcome you if you are new. I hope that you will consider subscribing after you see this video or even now hit the red subscribe button if you like anything planner, mom, lifestyle, um, trying to meet your <laughs> daily goals throughout your day with basically making like family and you a priority. Today we are going to decorate my daily DIY printable sheets that I made for myself that incorporate my daily routines inspired by the fly lady, um, the top three of my to-dos, and just basically trying to meet my daily goals, right? A planner is not just about events and reminders and to-dos for me. It is about all those things, plus living a life that will help me um, get closer to my goals and becoming just the best version of myself. So we are going to get these daily sheets ready for the week. Let me just, well, you know what? Let's get right into it and I'll give you a breakdown in just a moment. All right, so I am going to give you a breakdown of what these are. So I made these on Canva. I have used them for quite some time now and I absolutely love them. I know that there's a lot of stuff out there that I love and that works for me, but this one has been the best one so far, which is why I ended up making it because there's always something, there's always just been something missing in the things that I haven't made myself for myself. So this to me meets a lot of what I need on a daily basis in a planner that kind of combines necessities of a planner and just the creative part of a planner. If you like to decorate with stickers and making things look your own, that's something that I can do with this little layout that I have made. So basically it has a spot for the day. Um, I may, I keep meaning to like go back in there and shift this over a little bit, but hey, it's okay. I always need to know, like, I need a reminder in the morning, like, hey, what's for dinner tonight? <laughs> if I know even before the day, great, but sometimes I don't. And that is a prompt for me to say, like, what's for dinner? You need to write it down, like, first thing in the, you know, of the day or one of the first things. Then this section is my top three. What are the three things that have to get done today in addition to our normal day-to-day -day stuff? For example, our normal day-to-day -day stuff, like, I know that my normal day-to-day -day stuff, like I'm going to work out, I'm going to read my Bible, I'm going to do some laundry or some home care or something like that is basically down here on my daily routine. So I have a weekly sheet that keeps track of the details of my daily routines and my home stuff. And then I will look at my weekly sheets, I will look at my to-do lists, I will look at our monthly things, and I will fill this out for the day. So this is the top three things that need to be done that day. I also have this little section here. It, you can't really see this too much, but it looks like a, a very light colored piece of tape, but that's for whatever title I want it to be. I could put a sticker or I can write right there. And this is either designed for me to either have a long to-do list um, or like I don't need to use these times here, but it does have times for the day, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, all the way to 10 o'clock at night. So it's not a lot of space, but what I have found that I like to use this for is to either map out my vision for the day or there's three, three ways. So map out my vision of the day, Maybe the second way might be, oh, what did I do at that time? I might be checking in on my planner at 12 and I will write in that I did a workout at 10 or something like that. And then my third way to use the times is sometimes I haven't used it, but at nighttime, I like to go through and just think, how was your day? What, what worked? And what time do you think you did those things? Another thing that I have thought of using this for too is if I wanna log my meals and what time I eat them. So this is very useful. Um, if you are, if you have ever been like an, an hourly style person, but don't want a whole calendar or weekly spread that's all hourly, 
I feel like this is really helpful to have just like that little section there. And then again, if you have a long to-do list throughout the day, that's a nice long list for you. I like this section for either a to-do list, if I use this, you know, that way, the way I just described, I will have a little to-do list here. If I think of anything that I can, that I need to get done, like in addition to these things, even they might just take a couple minutes or something or anything that I need to add to my main to-do list, but I just have this here. I will just kind of add stuff there. I will take notes of things that I bought or need to buy, all of that good stuff. And of course we have all this extra note here and an area for notes and things right here. And then of course I have my daily routines and something that I absolutely love is this tomorrow prep section. I never thought that this would be so helpful and it has been an amazing addition to like a daily for me. So having that tomorrow prep section, I also can you have found that I can use this for social media for a daily of social, sorry, a weekly of social media because I actually do three videos a week and I have, you know, a to do film to do edit notes and things like I have all of that and having like a weekly thing has been helpful. So if I didn't need these things, I could totally change those out. Same thing with my daily routines. I can just get on there and change what my routines look like. So there's a background of what these are all about and how they are supposed to be helping my lifestyle. I am going to go ahead and get into decorating some of these. I like to decorate them pretty simple and I hope that you will enjoy a little decor planner time with me.
Okay, you guys, I basically tried to do each day just kind of like a little bit different of a theme. And sometimes I just don't really, um, I liked, it, it's almost like the first sheet's like a warm up for me. So I just did something really simple, a little summer, you know, style colors here. I basically, so the the ones in the Happy Planner, let's see, this was Homebody Seasons, I think. They don't fit the lines that I have here very well. There are um, other stickers that are not Happy Planner that fit a little bit nicer there. But it's almost in there. Um, basically, my idea for this is to have a little gratitude section. I should have moved it down a little bit, but that's where the homebody one came into play. Kind of got me warmed up for decorating. I may even add a quote here. Then the second one I used, actually the second and the third one, both of these. I used Rad Teacher. This one's a fun sticker book. I really enjoyed how this came out. As you can see, I just like it pretty simple. Some nice little, um, reflections of myself here and space for if I do want to add more stickers there's even more space or just notes again from rad teacher but totally different style really like those color combos this was from pressed florals haven't used that in a while I thought this was pretty cool what I do need to do is re-hole punch this because of the sticker that I put there. Let's hope that I don't mess this one up, especially here on camera, because sometimes if it's not... Oh, it is off a little bit. Darn. That's okay. It's regular print copy paper, you guys. No big deal, but it'll at least fit in my planner. Um, it's so weird that some of these are fine and then some of them are way off. So now that section or little space will fit in my planner, but I thought that was really cute to do like a little yellow theme. There was some purplish in there. And then as you can see, I wanted a little fitness inspiration here on Friday. Um, <laughs> so I used the fitness sticker book, Don't Give Up. However, the first one I put down was way off totally not straight. So let me straighten this paper out and you can kind of see that. Actually, is that straight? Anywho, <laughs> so I just kind of kept going with a little bit of a calm blue theme. I thought about taking it off, but then I didn't want it to be too hard to restick. So basically, that's what that is. And what I do on the weekends is I'll either pull out another sheet of paper or if Friday, because I do tend to kind of like track less on Friday, that's just how I work and I try not to. I try to be so much better about that, but I do tend to track less. So I'll either use this for the weekend as well, or I will do one daily for the whole weekend, if that makes sense, or I won't do anything. So I only did five for Monday through Friday. That's how I decorate these dailies. It gives me lots of freedom to add more if I want to add more um, or space to use the space up that I didn't end up decorating. But I do like the idea of decorating these because each day I can get a totally different theme and I'm like, in my planner, I'm like, ooh, I wonder what tomorrow is gonna look like. So what I end up doing is I put these, and I don't have to date them, I just figured I would date them for the sake of this video and as a guide, but what I end up doing is I put them in the back of my daily section. So basically, they would go here and each new one I would pull out and end up, I mean, right now there's just one paper here, but I would basically, I wouldn't even pull it out. I'd have my, um, I might have it in front of my weekly, but I have my daily paper right there, ready to go. When I'm done with it, I put it completely in the back so I can review it at the end of the week. And that's how I use my dailies. That's how I decorate my dailies. I love them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
I hope you will hit the like button if you like it as well and subscribe if you haven't. I would love to have you join this community. And if you haven't yet, join me on Instagram. I am at Mandy underscore Chavez chapters where I will give you guys some pictures and a lot of like up-to-date style or daily, I should say, style stuff going on there. Um, I would like to post more there, but I'm kind of like in and out with the kids anyway, um, in and out of Instagram anyway. But so I hope that you will join me for my next one. I post Tuesday, Thursday, Saturdays, and I will see you soon. Have a wonderful, beautiful, awesome day. Bye you guys.